Alrighty then. The 175. So, here's how it goes. These trains were manufactured by Alstom. Because they are part of the Corrida family of trains. So, they're part of the Corrida family, I think. I think I spelled it right or not. So these trains operate on the... These trains are built diesel multiple, manufactured by Alstom for um, First Northwestern originally, but now the Riva Trains Wells and Transport for Wales. They are diesel multiple units. So these trains operate on Liverpool Lime Street service at Liverpool Lime Street. Manchester Piccadilly. Camarden. Camargan. Cardiff. Where else they go? Bristol. Chester. Manchester Airport. Where else they go? They go um, other parts in Wales. Lundudno. Barry Island, Hollyhead, and Birmingham. Hope I got it right. I guess, hopefully, the Class 175 fleets will be getting a uh, refurbished. They might get refurbished, however, with the new um, maquette and interior, or it's just repaints. If you know any 175 fleets are given a fleet of full fleet refurbishment, please let me know in the comments below. It. Sorry for the cut off on the uh, 158 drawing. I'm so sorry. But we'll ignore that. We'll ignore that indeed. I'm not going to use. I don't think I'll ever going to use Movie Maker again. I don't think I'll ever go on Movie Maker again. To be honest. The pain. But I started to use the regular camera instead. But yeah. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. There you go. Do you know when will I ever draw the transport for Wales fleets? I'm not sure. Alright. Is that how the T looks like? Is that how the tea looks? What the hell? What the hell did they come up with that? So 
So that's the 175 in the new Transport for Wales repaint. Right. Done it in five minutes, six seconds. So it was placed in order in 1997. But these trains were delivered in 1999. The Class 175 has had quite a number of accidents. On the 16th of January 2010, 175-103 operating the 0830 Manchester Piccadilly to Milford Heaven then struck two cars on Moulton and Lurg between Hereford and Leominster. The front seat on the passenger one car is faulty injured, and one of the cars was injured. Although no casualties on the train, it did not derail. The signaller was raised the barriers in error, and it was suspicion. It was a suspicion in July 2010. The same service was colliding on the 31st of January 2011. There were no injuries, but unit was involved. The 175-108 received nearly £82,000 worth of the damage striking the trailer at 75 miles an hour, or if you prefer 121 kilometres an hour. And on the 19th of December 2011, 175002 was involved with a collision with a lorry at Lanboydy near Whitland. He was operating on a Manchester service and the driver of the lorry was arrested. Class 175 units caught fire, which is 175008 at Preston in 2004. Then in 2009 at, Price, at Preston, 2011 at Manchester, and both at Shrewsbury 175109 between Chester and Crewe. Then at Dugwenny and on the most recently near Protolis 175107 this year. In February 2018, the entire Class 175 fleet was temporarily withdrawn from service for safety checks. After the further investigation, it was found as a track fault between Newport and Cromburn. It has caused wheel damage to several Class 175 and also some Class 158s. However, they are still in service today. They are still in service today. These trains were replaced with the Class 101, which is now operating on Heritage Line routes. I heard there's a lot of these types of styles with this train, but I rather see, I did see a Class 175 it was operating on the Arriva Trains Wales from Cardiff to Manchester service. Class 101 and 102s are heritage diesel multiple units, which they enter service in 1956. Then the Class 309 electric trains was from in 1962. These trains are managing themselves but they are still in service today. Please let me know what train should I draw next. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.